Hi guys, I just wanted to jump on really quick here. Um, so everybody knows that Ukraine was invaded. Everybody knows that Russia now controls Chernobyl. Um, we are being told here in California that our gas could go up to six to eight dollars a gallon. Um, you you really can't store up on gas. It doesn't stay. Oh gosh, my hair. I'm sorry. It does not stay well. You cannot. It's not something that you can't you can't store it for a long time. But what we did do today, we stocked up all of our vehicles. We have a 300 gallon tank that we had filled, and we also um, I haven't been to Walmart in months, but I went today. Um, uh, I lost my train of thought. I'm sorry. We, I went today. I went looking for lamp oil and those small propane bottles. The sm I think they're what, one gallon or something like that. Uh, they were out of both. Um, they said they hadn't had any for months. They don't know when they're going to get them in. So that was off my list. Then I just went strolling around the store to see if there was anything that I might need. There wasn't anything. You know how cool that was? There wasn't anything on the shelf that I didn't have, that I didn't need. That was cool. Um, they didn't have any marked down meats. They, they had multiple shelves, empty shelves. I came across one lady that was, uh, she had two carts and she had uh, just large boxes of items in her cart, like, um, restaurant supply type sizes and that's all she had in her cart and I mentioned to her I said oh you're stocking up she said this was her third trip into the store today um she said she's not going to go um like what happened in the beginning of the COVID baloney, she wasn't going to get caught in something like that again. So she's just upping her supplies. And it really kind of made me smile because she was a Pakistani descent or Indian descent. So I, I'm sorry, I don't want to offend anybody, but that's, you know, and I just thought that was, and she, she couldn't speak English very well. And I thought, that's cool everybody is storing up. That's really cool. That's what we've been trying to get out. I just thought that was really cool. I told her, be safe, watch your surroundings. And she said, you too. And it was a, we had, we had a really nice chat. Um, so, um, anyway, I, we're also being told by other prepper pages and, and survivalist pages to hit the bank. So I hit my bank today. I took out, you know, some money and the guy at the bank asked me what it was for. And I said, that's not your business. I want to take out some money out of my account and that's not your business. He says, well, I'm going to need the manager's approval. I said, then you better, you know, hike on over there and get his approval. So the manager came back and he goes, oh, you buying a boat? And I said, yep. And he goes, oh, good. So that's all he said. And then um, after I got my money, um, the man that was helping me in the beginning apologized. He said, we are being told to ask. He says, not all of us do, but he said he was new. And I said, no worries. No worries. I didn't mean to be snappy with you. So that ended on an okay note too. Um, so the only thing I can tell you is make sure you have some cash and, um, to conserve gas, we live a long ways away from town and stuff. So our plan is now to only leave our mountain once a month. Um, we're going to configure all of our appointments, everything into one day. Um, I have Bible study every Wednesday. It's over an hour away. And um, I'm going to be choosing to do that um, online. I can watch them online to help save gas. Um, so today I have a 15 gallon tank or I think 15 or 16 gallon tank in my car and it was a hundred dollars and I wasn't even on empty. So um, that's one way you can conserve is to combine all your trips into one day. Um, but be safe, 
Um, this could open up a whole Pandora's box. I'm sure China is waiting. They already see that our Putin head uh, person, so-called in charge, is um, has no backbone. So that's probably why Putin went in. Um, also, China probably sees oh. Nothing happened to Russia, so I'm sure, and a lot there's a lot of talk that China is going to pull some baloney on Taiwan. It's going to set off a whole spark of stuff. Um, so be safe, be careful, stick to some YouTube channels like the Canadian Prepper. He's really good. He's usually right on. And Pinball Preparedness, he's a really cool dude, and he knows his stuff also. So those two I watch uh, religiously. Um, and I, if I hear something, I will try and pass it on. Um, be safe. Keep your head on a swivel. Watch your surroundings. And um, just make sure you keep your car at least half full in case there's an emergency. Keep your gas tanks at least half full. Make sure you have extra supplies like um, your chicken feed, stuff like that. You make sure you have enough stuff for your uh, families you know, your food. I had a lady ask, tell me today that she was going to buy diapers plus cloth diapers. Great idea. So if you need diapers for your kids, also make sure you have the ways and the means to know how to make cloth diapers and use the plastic pants or use a plastic bag. You have to just think outside the box, guys. This is very scary times, um, but keep it together and we can all, you know, reach out to each other and, um, Peace out. Have a cool day. Um, try not to get too upset, too stressed. Um, uh, your family depends on you. And um, I will talk at you later. Be safe, guys. From my homestead to yours. Bless you. Bye.